Y'all know what it is. Barcode in the building. Let's get right into this news. Y'all know what it is. Mr. 43 Louis Low Key Sneakers on crack. Yankee turn back. Now I'm talking about time about ain't much happening this week, but you still gonna want to get your seat. You feel me? Now I'm talking about, first of all, Olympics has started. Hope you got your favorite team. Hope you got your favorite country. Whoever you repping, I hope they go out and do the damn thing for you. Uh, you know, it's a whole lot of coronavirus cases, you know what I'm saying? And they just, fuck it, we gonna do it. All these many nations together and all these people getting together and all, you know, I'm talking about, talking about it is what it is. The motherfuckers get coronavirus and it spreads even more. I hope everybody vaccinated. It's gonna be their motherfucking fault if they not. No, I'm talking about, talking about, so reach your goals and your dreams and do what you got to do, but please don't die for it. Be safe. You know what I'm talking about, talking about, shout out to the Olympics over there in Japan. Y'all motherfuckers work hard for what y'all do. I appreciate all what you do. You entertain me. You know what I mean? So, may we get into, you know, unfortunately, we got to do a couple rest in pieces. You know what I'm saying? And. First of all, rest in peace to Keisha Cole, mom who overdosed. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just a terrible thing when you lose a family member, especially a mother. She overdosed. You know, ain't no, ain't no telling what she overdosed from. But shout out to Keisha Cole and her family for what they're going through. You know what I mean? It's nothing like losing a, a family member. You know what I'm saying? Especially to something untimely. You know what I mean? Uh, New York Jet, Jets uh, assistant coach got hit by a car. May he rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't even know what to say about that one. You know what I mean? People just assholes. If you're riding your bike, watch out for the people that's riding the bike. I mean, you, you're driving a car, watch out for the people that's riding the bike. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? People, we lose to bike accidents because motherfuckers in the car just don't give a fuck. Good man out there, you know what I mean? Shout out to his family. It's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's going down in the news this week? A whole, it, it's a couple things. Um, did y'all even see the Bobby Brown versus Keith Sweat versus? I seen some of it, you know what I mean? I seen Bobby Brown up there dancing, gigging it, you know what I'm saying? He was doing this motherfucking thing, you know what I'm saying? He was, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't see the whole thing, though, because they didn't promote it like they were supposed to promote it. Uh, the locks versus Dipset, I believe, is August third. Who you got? I don't even know. I I I fuck with the locks as far as lyrics, but then I don't think they got as many hits as as you know what I mean. Uh, Dipset, the locks got some. They the locks got lyrics. They got the streets. They got you know what I mean. Everything, but Dipset, I think, got more hits. So let me know who y'all riding with, you know what I mean? I I I I could go in this conversation forever. We can go back and forth. You know what I mean? We could we could do this forever. You know what I'm saying? Uh who else? What else was going down? Uh Royce the five nine and Lupe. Why they even going? Was it playful? Was these niggas just going at each other just to be going at each other? And they was just like, you know what I'm saying, we just gonna beef, shit just gonna happen, or they had some previous beef, what happened? I don't know. But I listen to both of them. Now, I'm going to break this down for you. Royce, uncanny penmanship. That motherfucker can write his ass off. He just didn't go directly. You know, you battle on a nigga. You're supposed to go directly at a nigga. You want to use all these sophisticated words. So be it. Lupe Fiasco wasn't as lyrical, but the fact that the nigga was going directly at a motherfucker, I respect that in the battle. You feel me? So, you have to ask me who won. I'm going to say Lupe just because I like the fact that he went at a nigga and not. I don't know what Royce did. Royce is dope. I just don't know what the fuck that nigga be talking about sometimes. My bad. That's just me. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, what else is going down? Uh, Lil Uzi Vert is trying to buy a planet. First of all, from who? Who owns the fucking planet? Who, when they said there is planets out there, was like, ooh, that one's mine. The little Uzi can go and buy a planet from you. How? 
I, I, I just want to know how. How he getting the planet? I don't know. That's, it's just some shit that I'm hearing. It's called uh, WASP-127B. It's a gas planet. Grimes uh, put it out there, and this nigga co-signed it that, yes, he was buying a planet. I don't see motherfucking for what if nobody can go to it, but it might be a good investment with the way the world is going with this gastronomical futuristic shit that they about to have going down, you know what I'm saying? So, I can't knock it, but I don't know why. Maybe because I can't afford it. Fuck it. But, Soulja Boy tell him had to come and say, this nigga buying a planet, I already did that. Every time you think it's a lie, Soldier Boy, he, he don't be capping. He don't be capping. This nigga, he was hosting concerts on planets back in the day. Does that mean he owned it? I don't know. But the nigga was hosting concerts on other planets back in the day. I can't make this shit up. You can read it for yourself. I can't make this up. Soldier Boy, tell him. Always did something first. You know what I'm saying? This nigga is an innovator. You know what I'm saying? Anything you say that you have done, Soulja Boy has done that. If you motherfuckers say, nigga, you clipped your toenail with a crocodile's mouth. This nigga said, I did that back in 82. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about? You never know what Soulja Boy has already done. Um, Lil Nas X drops a new video with Jack Harlow. I see... There's a whole lot I feel about this. Video is cool. I don't like, you know, I'm not, you know, so couple things, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want to see. I just, I just don't. Jack Harlow, you get your bag because you know this nigga was going to break the internet with this video. So you get your bag by jumping on this nigga bandwagon. I get it. I dig it. You had you a female in the motherfucker cell with you. I dig it. Remind niggas you not gay. I understand. I just don't listen to Lil Nas X. Nothing against you, my dude. I just don't listen to it. The song is cool. It's, it's all right. I just don't fuck with it. You know what I mean? So, do your thing. Shout out to Jack Harlow for hopping on the song. That is a crazy ass video. You know what I'm saying? It supposedly broke the internet. Got a whole. There's so many views on that motherfucker right now. It's ridiculous. Parents going crazy because he re reiterates the kiss scene on the poster when he's breaking through the Shawshank Redemption hole. He's getting naked in this motherfucker, taking a shower scene with some backup dancers. He got motherfuckers holding his pocket as he walking like he's some big dude on the tier. I, there's so many ways you can feel about this shit, but the nigga rap, he cool, yeah, I, you know what I mean? If you like it, you like it, you don't, you don't, fuck it. Uh, what else going down? Jay-Z and Beyonce house and got engulfed in flames in New Orleans. Nobody was in the house, but they said it is arson. This was a late... 17th century house, something like that. This is an amazing house. Somebody just set it on fire and they hating. I fucking hate people. You know what I mean? I don't understand. Like, oh, that's Jay-Z and Beyonce house. Let me go set it on fire. Motherfucker, for what? How is it bothering you? What are they doing to you? Because they decided to get up and follow their dream and get money and you decided to sit on the couch and watch them? So you mad? So you burnt down their house? Man, what the fuck is wrong with you motherfuckers? I don't get it. But maybe it's not for me to understand. Shout out to Beyonce and Jay-Z. Maybe he was using it as a tax right off and said, Hey, I'm going to burn my motherfucking house down. We don't use that motherfucker. We don't go down there anyway. We should just burn it down and get the money. I'm not going to say that's true. But I'm just saying there's so many stories. Look, there's 14 different sides to each story. Fuck being two, nigga. There's 14 different sides to every story. You just got to pick which one you motherfucking believe and which one you don't. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, what was it? It was located in the the Garden District, and it took two. It burned for two hours before twenty two 
firefighters came and burned him and put the fire out. That's crazy. So you let, in a rich neighborhood, you let a house burn for two hours before the firefighters even get there? Or it took them two hours to set up? What the fuck happened that 22 firefighters took two hours to, to, I don't, to start? I'm at a loss for words. I'm, I thought once you get money, shit get better for you. Shit happen quicker. Maybe not. You know what I'm saying? Ask baby Jesus. Jesus Shuttlesworth, what you feel? You know what I'm saying? Maybe go copy this jersey, but you can't. Um, what else is going down? Um, Dr. Dre has to pay his wife 300000 a month. 300000 a month. So she got the best job on earth. You ain't got to do shit. Just get your... That's the stimulus package every month, babe. 300000 every month, and all you got to do is wake up and go, Oh, oh I made 300000 this month. Motherfuckers ain't made 300000 their whole life. You make it in a month because you was married to a nigga. Are you motherfucking kidding me? What, 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 what if... What if she was the billionaire and this nigga got divorced? Would she have to pay him? Does it work like that? Or is it this 20-year alimony shit? No matter if you got kids or not, they're all together 20 years. Whoever makes the most money got to pay the other one in alimony. I, it's just ridiculous to me. Leave with what the fuck you came with. I ain't saying sign a prenup, but so what? You was with Dr. Drace and now you were accustomed to a certain lifestyle and that's... What? So I, I got to continue that lifestyle? You didn't do nothing the whole time we was together to try to better yourself and get you some money. You thought you was gonna be married to me forever. I don't. I don't get it. I. I seen. I shared some shit on Instagram just like that too. This girl said, "Yeah, when we was together, he got me an apartment, and I expect him when we broke up to keep paying for it because you don't brought me to a certain lifestyle. So now I expect to live that lifestyle. Well, bitch, get a goddamn job and pay for your motherfucking lifestyle. If." Right now, you fuck with me, and I'm paying for your condo. I'm paying for your shit, and we break up. I'm no longer paying for it. So if you get kicked out and kicked out of school, that's your motherfucking fault. That's what the three hundred thousand a month. Fuck out of here. You know what I mean? Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? My bad. That's just. That's just crazy. Oh, something I did forget to mention about the little Uzi thing. This is a fucking space treaty from 1967 that says no uh, nation or citizen should own or claim any part of outer space. So how the fuck is he going against the nation's peace treaty? You know what I'm saying? I don't like that shit. I just had to throw that in there because I just thought about it. You know what I mean? There is an out of space peace treaty from 1967 that says no citizen or nation will claim anything from Earth. I mean, from out of space. So how? Got it. Um, shout out to Knowledge because Knowledge going to love this. No more Cleveland Indians. Y'all are now the Guardians. What the fuck are you guarding? What are you guarding? What you guarding? Huh? What are you guarding? You're the guardians of what? Huh? Somebody explain to me how that fits. Because I'm not from Cleveland. I didn't come up with the name. So I want to know. I want to know, for real. What is a Cleveland guardian? Like, what is a Washington football team? Y'all couldn't come up with nothing that dealt with Washington. Nothing that dealt with Washington. Y'all became the football team. The football team. That's What's your mascot? Is it a football running around with legs? And the Guardians. Where are they going to have a guardian angel and a little halo and the wings and harp and all that shit? Is that what they about to do? Y'all niggas whack, B. My bad. I'm not a Cleveland fan. I'm just saying, if y'all niggas from Cleveland, I'd be mad as hell that our name is now The Guardian. Shout out to Knowledge. Um, LeBron James, the first 
active. Let me say it again. Active. Still playing. Billionaire in basketball. Jordan's a billionaire. After retirement from the Jordan brand, all the stuff that, you know, Haynes and all the, the hot dogs and all this shit and this nigga was promoting. He's a million. He's a billionaire now. LeBron James is a billionaire actively playing. Now, let me. There's one. I just want to touch on this. You know what I'm saying? Just because I seen Space Jam 2. And y'all motherfuckers saying this shit was whack. I thought it was dope. Because for one thing, I don't compare LeBron to Jordan. LeBron is his own person. Jordan was his own person. Stop comparing the two. Stop trying to make that movie after this movie. Every part two don't have to have the same... It, it, it touched on the same principles as far as basketball, the characters, and all this. But it's his own entity. It's his own thing. It don't have to be as good as the first one. It don't have to be mimicking the first one. It can, can be from something completely different and still be good. I like Space Jam Part 2. I like that it's like the NBA Jam has brought some futuristic shit. I didn't like the characters too much on the on the on the on the bad side. I ain't I ain't, no, I ain't like the characters too much because they went a little too much with the animations, but it's for kids. You know what I'm saying? So the spider lady and all this is it's supposed to be that. It's supposed to be that because they're trying to bring the kids. But from his box office sales, LeBron James is now a billionaire. That's all I want to say. And stop shitting on him because of the movie. Because I think the movie's dope. Y'all need to just stop comparing motherfuckers. Stop comparing me to anybody musically. Stop comparing Jay-Z to Nas. Stop comparing Biggie to Tupac. Just stop. Everybody's their own person. You can't say who's better because they're their own person. They're, they're the best in their own right. Tupac rap completely different than Biggie. Can't say who's better because they rap completely different. Jay-Z and Nas, they rap completely different. You can't say who's better. They both, all matter of fact, all four or five men came from the streets, all black men, and had money and made it successful. Stop comparing and start appreciating. That's just my opinion. Back on topic. Uh, Bucks won. The motherfucking Milwaukee Bucks is your champions. I don't give a fuck. I'm not a fan. I'm a fan of basketball. Giannis, get your motherfucking championship, but I don't think it's going back. Y'all could just be mad at me all you want. I don't think the Bucks is going to get another championship. Chris Paul, shout out to Chris Paul. You should have won it this year. I'm just saying, nigga, you need to get your motherfucking championship. I, I, if anything don't happen, anything has to happen. Chris Paul needs a championship because that man been busting his ass for a very, 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 very long time. Uh, but Giannis, you know, shout out to them. Shout out to you know getting your ring. Shout out to you doing your thing. Uh, I see he's been taking shots at somebody in the NBA. I think it's because that person don't have a ring. But. It is what it is. But I forgot who he's taking shots at. It's funny. You might want to look it up on Snapchat. It's funny. You know what I'm saying? He's going at somebody. Um, what else we got going on? Football argument turns deadly. Now, I love football. I'm not going to say I watch it so much. I'm not going to say I know every player because motherfuckers got on a helmet. And if you walk past me, I wouldn't know who the fuck you are. I just see this big ass dude. But... Nigga, I always see your helmet, so I don't know what football players look like. But a Eagles fan shot and killed a Giants fan. Fucked up. They were at a Philly cheesesteak spot. What is it called? Uh, I I I I need to I need to know what it's called just because I want to you know put it out there. King of Steaks. You know what I'm saying? Pat's King of Steaks. They was at the spot. Pat's King of Steaks at 1 a.m. And I guess they was talking football. The nigga in the Eagles jersey got upset. You know, they start tussling, got upset, pulled a gun out, trick or tachi, trick or tachi, killed a nigga, fled in a the van. They got him later. 
Now tell me how fucking crazy is this? What the fuck is the point? You don't play for this team. You didn't buy this team. You don't own anything in this team. This team does nothing for you. These people don't even know who you are. But you killed a man because he was saying something about the team he liked. And you were saying something about the team you liked. So that was enough for you to get upset and kill that man. Hmm. What the fuck has America come to? Is it that sensitive? Like, for real? No, my team's better. No, my team's better. No, you have to die now. What the fuck, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you don't own us. You don't own any part of the Eagles. You might got a box seat if you could afford that. But you don't own anything on the Eagles. It's like niggas say I'm from this block. You don't own anything. You rep that block. So the fact that you die for that block, that block ain't do shit for you. Sent you to jail, whatever. Got your family hurt, tears, RP tattoos and t-shirts and that's about all the streets gave back to you, but that's my block. Nigga, what you own on it? Have you helped anybody build anything? Have you helped anybody replace a doorknob, fix their car, babysit their kids, help them out in any possible way, shape, or form? Absolutely not. So niggas, miss me with that's my block shit. Miss me with that. Oh, that's my team. You don't talk bad about my team. And you go and shoot a nigga. Y'all motherfuckers funny. Y'all bored as hell. Y'all need to get a motherfucking hobby. Because ain't no motherfucking way. I love the Giants too, but... Say what you want to say about them. I'm not about to shoot you over the fucking Giants. I don't care that much. Motherfucker. Um, elderly woman was beat with a metal pot. Her wallet was taken. And her walker was taken. In Harlem. Motherfucker for what? Is it that bad out here? That you beat a woman with a metal pot? We can't take care of our elderly. These are the people that raised us. You know what I'm saying? These are the people that, that sacrificed and went through the shit that they went through so we could be free. They did a lot for us. And you're going to go beat this old elderly woman with a metal pot, take her wallet, and walk her? She can't even walk. I hope all you motherfuckers die and rot in hell. Just my personal opinion. Don't like me. Don't care. Don't care if you never hear this. But it's out there. I don't give a fuck. That's some bitch ass shit and y'all niggas should die for. It. You know what I'm saying? Um Sorry, that shit kinda bothered me. It kinda bothered me. You know what I'm saying? Uh this man in Vegas. Don't know his name. Don't wanna know his name. I just know he crazy. So he comes up to this woman's door. Starts ringing the doorbell, knocking on the door. Hello, hello. I want, and he's really trying to get in the house. Like, really open the door. He touches the motherfucking thing. The doorknob. Trying to get in the motherfucking house, right? So I'm guessing maybe he was at the front door and they had a back door way. And the husband comes home and, the, and Shorty said she was hiding. You know what I'm saying? She was hiding in the back. She, she wasn't talking to this nigga, but he was having a whole conversation by himself. So... <coughs> I guess the husband comes home and he starts talking on the little ring thing. You know, the camera, video camera thing. That shit been catching a lot of shit. But he was talking to him on the ring thing. And this motherfucker says, what do you want? Dude comes back and says, I want to rape, murder, and kill the woman inside. Can you have her come outside and have her open the door? I want to rape her. I have a gun and a knife. I want to kill and murder and rape her. What the fuck? Women, y'all be safe out there. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it must not be enough men protecting their women that a motherfucker even got the audacity to even think that shit. Like, what the fuck was you on, Bob? That you went and knocked on this lady's house <coughs> talking about you was going to do this shit till you didn't think nobody was going to recognize you and put you in jail? You didn't think nobody was going to call the police? What? And you thought she was going to come out with her own free will so she can get raped and murdered and killed? Yeah. Good luck with that one, Bob. I don't understand. 
I don't know. That nigga was on some good shit. Well, you gonna be sober in jail for a minute, good be. Anyhow, what else I got for you? Um, they said that Tory Lanez is still in bars. I don't know. The nigga said he was paying homage to one of his favorite rappers, which is Cassidy, and the freestyles that he do. He even did it over the nigga's beat and just paying homage. And he responded by saying, nigga, you are one of my favorite rappers. I was paying homage to you. I did rap over one of your beats. Nothing that these young rappers can do is going to be good enough because all you old heads going to have something to say about it. Now, I'm not knocking a nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you paying homage, you paying homage. Sometimes the nigga bar was just a nigga bar. He did it more than once. He did it more than twice. He did it more than three times. You know what I'm saying? So, there's a fine line between paying homage and there's a fine line between stealing a nigga's shit. But he was freestyling at the time he was doing it. So still, by the way, and just might be, you know, that's my favorite rapper. I threw his bar in there. It might just go. What can you say? I mean, hip hop is that's a lot better than listening to Lil Nas X. Don't you think? I'm just saying, y'all let Tory Lanez live, man. Tory, that Tory, live your life, man. Y'all let that man live. Y'all know what it is. Bar code in the building, baby. Louis Magma here with you, and we're gonna be back with some more news next week. You know what I'm talking about? Talking about because I know y'all motherfuckers gonna keep on fucking up. Be tuned, but make sure you tune into the shoe bubble because I'm gonna let you know the shoes is coming out this week. My bad, I didn't do it last week. I was on vacation, but I'm gonna holler at you, motherfuckers. Y'all know what it is. Boy, holler at your boy, be easy. One, peace. <laughs>